Oh, steady. <laughs> really nice. That was good. Oh. That's fine. That's good. Oh, that's so good. Morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Brad's Hat. Now, we're here today to go around the circuit for another track day, but in a different car. This is my new one. It's a Honda S2000. So the car is pretty much standard, to be honest with you, aside from, as you can see, the horrible aftermarket wheels that come with it. And the only other thing we've changed is we've put a Tegua aftermarket radiator on it because it was hanging on by about two millimeters of rust. Other than that, the car is bone stock as it came from the factory. Oh, actually, it's got a hard top on it for today. That's only because Jimmy broke my roof. Anyway, I've got a bit of a plan with this car. So Gran Turismo 7 came out on the 4th of March and this car is in the game. So what I'm gonna be... Yeah, 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 yeah. For those who don't know, I'm involved with GT7. I do things like voicing the game and commentating with Jimmy on the FIA Gran Turismo Championships. And basically my plan for this car is to buy the car in game, to modify it in game, and then to do that to this car in real life. So to get it looking and driving very similar. And then what I'm gonna do is set a quick lap time at Brands Hatch on the game and then try and match it. We're gonna come back here later in the year when it's a little bit more sunny, take this car out and see how close to that time we can get. But the plan for this episode is just to take this car out and have a bit of fun. Oh, what a bell end. I left my boots in the rain, didn't I? They're about as wet as they were at bloody Wilton last week. They're not as muddy. I, I can reenact Wilton if you want. Basically, a lot of this for about 30 minutes. I think I was facing backwards more than I was forwards. I think I had two clean laps where I didn't spin. Stevie Wonder could have driven a better lap than me. And I've also ruined my bloody boots to say that. Are you going out? Yeah. Let's go out then. If you're going out, I want to come and try and bully you in a car that is a boat. So if you hear a foghorn in the background, yeah. that's me going off a T1. Are you going to push your doorbell horn whilst you're... Have you seen this doorbell horn? Come, come in here. Oh, you've, got to, you've got to see this. That's my best bit. That's down there. I don't know what happened to the horn. I guess it broke. So the fella put a doorbell on it, which we can all agree is far superior to any other horn. I like the patina. Is this um, intentional? Yeah, that's a wrap, mate. It's a wrap. <laughs> you can actually fist. I think you can double fist it. Look at that. That's, that's a. That's where all my horsepower escapes from. Yeah, that's a. That's not a one fister. That's a. That's a two and a sunflower. That is. This is going to be like that super slow mo shot on Sky Sports. Oh, basically the same. Yeah, oh yeah. Hello everybody, voiceover Tom here as we head out onto the track in the S2000, a very wet and grey brand hatch for the first time. So the name of the game really in this session was to kind of take it easy and get a feel for the car in the wet because as I said I haven't had any experience really on the wet on a track in a car so I was applying things like taking a wet line into corners so going a little bit wider into Druids here where the rubber accumulates on the outside of the circuit but I really was kind of struggling with confidence and pace unlike that man, Jimmy Broadbent in his Supra. Of course, really experienced driver, and his Supra being a little bit heavier in the wet meant it was a little bit more stable. As such, he was able to push on a little bit more than I was, mainly due to his experience, and as I said, because of the stability of that car. But you can see just how tentative, really, I'm being at this point of the session as we come into Druids, the rain accumulating on the windscreen there as we go into that corner. And to be honest with you, I was a bit psychologically spooked more than anything, and with slips and slides like that, it was far from ideal from a confidence perspective because I just didn't really know what to expect and kind of how to read the car. Even in third gear then I was getting some wheel spin. That's and you can hear me there talking about a bit of wheel spin in third gear. So I was kind of struggling really with just getting the confidence and having the trust that if the car slid that I was going to be able to catch it really. And then guys like this in the world's fastest Ford Fiesta, this guy was on it pretty much all day. He was really, really quick. But it wasn't a bad session, but I just realised that I was quite slow oh, and just hell. inexperienced and getting frustrated with that because I didn't know how to react, how to read the car. And I kind of realised that I was just getting in my own head really about it over the course of that session. So after I came into the garage, I decided to review some footage with Jimmy and then we'd go out on track with him. I was slow as shit in that session, so let's look at some footage of someone driving somewhat faster. Well, like, bear in mind this is literally a boat, so I do have the advantage in the wet. Um, but the, the main thing is I know is you just you're not really you're just scared like you're scared of the car when you're driving around and the thing is with tires it's something that I've learned in the Prague you've got to get the tires warm so you've got to drive it you've got to really push it a little bit you're going to be getting a lot of oversteer because you're in an S2000 so like basically be don't 
when you're sure you have traction, then get on the, then go full throttle. Otherwise, you're going to just bez it off the limiter, and that'll be it. Um, but I'd say through the um, through the corners, don't be afraid to carry in that speed and load up the front and load up the, the, the front tires because yeah. they're going to scrub, and then you're going to be forced into understeer. So that snap oversteer, I think you've in the back of your head, yeah. won't be able to get you. Right. Um, and then when you're straight, then nail it. Yeah. It's my first time really driving a car on track in the wet, aside from crashing one at uh, Lytton Hill a couple of years ago. Cross to some footage of that. Have you got your last will and testament? Yeah, well, something like that, mate. Fucking hell. <laughs> what am I doing in my life? So here gets a bit slippy. We're going to try and go a bit wider. Okay. So this this guy's line's pretty good. So go a bit wide here. Yeah. Stay out. Then we're going to softly come on, softly. We're going to go out to the exit. Okay, we're going to break in a straight line here. Break, break, about now. So you can carry more speed in there. So this is almost drive through here, so you can take quite, a, quite an aggressive line, not too close to the curb though. Easy, easy, now go. Keep it in third. Break hard. See how much grip you've got. Yeah. A lot of grip. So you can go out here. Now try and straighten this out more. Try and come back sharp. Okay. Sharp. Wait. Now go. So you go to the outside there. Okay. You can break here. Try and get onto this, this bit in the middle. Get on the front early here. You've got grip on this bit. Come on, get those tyres warm. You see it's better now. It's yeah, warmer. yeah. Probably come a little bit tighter, it seems that the grips are moving in the woods a little bit, so middle of the circuit. Okay. And again, straight line on the way out. Really good. Easy there. Is you're, you're loading up the tyre, and then you're getting on the throttle on the wet bit. Yeah. So you want to try and make sure when you're on the throttle, you aren't under load. This is pretty dry through here. I mean, you can see where it's dry and where it's not. Up here it's pretty wet. Yeah, front's just scrubbing there. That's fine. That, that means you're understeering. That's okay. Just be easy on the exit, because you know you've got a little bit of oversteer here. Try break a bit later. Now. Really nice. That was good. Don't rush it. There you go. Got good brakes here, use them. We're gonna go centre. Again, we're gonna cut back and we're gonna get the car pointing the straight line and point to the exit, then go. Middle of the course. You're gonna afford to play with the car a bit there, let it understeer. That's a really good corner to see what the car's doing. Yeah. That's fine, that's good. You're, un you're finding the, the limit now, and, and you're understanding that you can catch it. The, the thing you've got to get over, and the thing I had to get over, was that you're, you're scared of the slip. Yeah. You know, which is fine, I was scared of the slip. But you've, you found out you can control it. Yeah. And the, the, I think the, the most important thing in this car, because it's so peaky, is that you're making sure the car is facing in the right direction before you start gunning it. Out of here, if you're throttling now like you were before, Yeah. You can, you can feel that you, Gordy said to me, use the G-force as a way of understanding where the tyre is loaded. Yeah. So, you know when we had that little sort of mini wi wiggle in the straight? Yeah. It's because you were loaded round here. Sure. And like it ran out of traction and just went like that. So, yeah. try and straight line as much as possible where you can. But that was a big improvement from what I saw earlier. So. Thank you, mate. You see, it comes easy. You, you, you've got to just overcome that, that scary bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, much, much better, much better. Um, it's just, uh, I think, as I said to Tom, we're in the car, it's the same thing that I went through when I first started driving in the wet, is you get scared, which is completely fine, you know, to pretend you aren't is for stupid. Um, leave it there for a second. But uh, once you sort of get used to what the car can do, what it can't do, we had a little moment, but it sort of showed Tom that he could save it. So I think it's good to do that and then start fighting them a bit more. But yeah, really good. Really good that was good. Yeah, happy over that. Much better. Carrying a lot more speed into paddock. We had a couple of little little moments, bit of a wiggle, but yeah, all good, can't complain. Is that a racing driver's diet? Apparently.
I can change the rainbow. I'm the diabetes. <laughs> oh. Is it going to start to fall? <laughs> I have a short ladder, right? Yeah, don't I know it? Now, I want to also just to say now, if this car blows up for some reason, it's not my fault, all right? Yeah, thanks for that, mate. Anyway, we decided as the weather improved later on in the day to get Jimmy out in the S2000. I thought it would be a good idea to see what he made of the car and what I could learn from him out on track at Brands Hatch. Yeah, baby, slip that clutch. What are these tyres like? They're all right. <laughs> Fucking hell, you got some commitment in there, I'll give you that. We're not going fast yet, mate. That good? Yeah, fucking hell. <laughs> Fuck me. I want a gearbox left, please. <laughs> Got a sender in. No, not quite. <laughs> yeah, in the Supra you can sort of do that through there. This car's a bit lighter. It, it is, I think you're going fast, you need a brake, I think, into there. It's good though, isn't it? Yeah, it's fun, this. Fucking hell! One more. Go on then. Fire away, sunshine. Great brakes. You yeah. can wait for the car to shift and then get on the throttle. Yeah. It sort of does that. I notice when you drive, sometimes you try and force it in the corner. Yeah. Which is fine, I think, if you've got a car that can do it. But, but it's, it's, it's really interesting, like going into Graham, I'm so tentative on the brakes going into there because I'm really worried the back end's going to snap out as I'm braking, whereas you're stamping on the brakes. You've got to use that. That's the whole point. You use that to move the car around because if you it, when you're trying to go fast, the cars, they really respond well to being handled like that. If you're sort of half arse in it, the car almost responds to that and half arse back, you know? Yeah. Well, thanks for that, mate. That was an experience. Good to see how fast this car can actually go. That's for me. <laughs> you go a lot faster than I can drive, I'll tell you that. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah, it's fun with the car, that. Revy. <laughs> you sort of like, is it going to be some more? <laughs> Way. <laughs> Gimbal, gim, gimbal's like, fuck off, mate. Yeah. <laughs> so it's really interesting having Jimmy out on track just now, to be honest with you. So um, it was really exciting to see his different braking points, different lines into the corners. For example, up at Paddock, he's going in the centre of the road, and then he is carrying a lot more speed through the corner. He's trail braking into Druids. He's carrying so much more speed to Graham Hill Bend as well. Like he's going into this, stamping on the brakes and just getting the car rotated. Whereas I'm kind of pussyfooting around it and just sort of not really having as much speed as I'd like to going into there. So with that, I think it's a good idea that we get onto track and just sort of see what we can take from Jimmy being out on track and what we can apply to our, my driving as well. Yeah, that's what the viewers want to see. <laughs> the money shot. Yeah. So then for the final session of the day at Brands Hatch, I decided to stick my cameraman, Jamie, in the passenger seat. A bone dry Brands Hatch awaited us. Let's get ourselves up to speed, push the envelope in this S2000 and have some fun. Too wide on the way in, then. It is nice, that isn't it? Yeah. That was nice. Yeah. Didn't think he was gonna let you have it. No, neither did I. Oh, that's so good. God. 
Seem quicker that. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You're definitely happier um, from turning, chucking it in. And yeah. A little later on the brakes, a little bit smoother. It's just getting used to that tread shuffle again. Right, so the weather's turned, which is unfortunate. And I know you might be thinking to yourself, hang on a minute, Tom, didn't you want some wet weather driving experience? And the answer to that is yes. However, I've been driving quite fast all day, getting quicker and quicker, more and more confident, and I just don't want to risk it, you know, and especially also when you've got dry tarmac onto wet tarmac, you've got oils and stuff that come up onto the surface, it's just not really worth the risk. And I've got some big plans for this car in terms of modification that are going to be happening over the next couple of months, which you've got to stay tuned for, but it's important that obviously we don't end up sending it into the barrier. Anyway, thank you so much for joining us for this video. Really hope you've enjoyed the experience of the S2000 on the track. Tune in very soon when we'll have more information on what we're doing to this car. Until then, take care, and I'm going to go and find some shelter. <laughs>